Mystery solved. For nearly 25 years, she's been known only as Ada Bones. Her face imagined through sketches and a clay sculpture. Well, tonight, the woman found in an Ada Park in 1997 finally has her name back. She is Stephanie Renee Judson. Target 8 investigator Susan Samples told you when detectives first turned to genealogy in this case. And at 5 o'clock, she broke the story of the identification. Susan? Stephanie Renee Judson, originally from Benton Harbor, is now believed to be perhaps the final victim in a string of killings in the 90s, a dozen women whose murders remain unsolved today. July 1997, M21, east of Ada. A maintenance worker found remains amid brush and bramble in a roadside park. There was a heel fracture on the left side of her nose. No way to know back then. It would take nearly 25 years and new DNA technology to give this clay reconstruction a name, a face, a story. It's incredible. He's talking about genetic genealogy, the key that unlocked this two decade plus mystery. Kent County Detective Dustin Cook worked with the nonprofit DNA Doe Project, which uploaded DNA from the unidentified skeleton's femur and compared it against DNA in a public database used to trace family trees. Researchers first identified distant relatives in Mississippi and later traced that tree all the way to Benton Harbor and Stephanie Renee Judson whose family never stopped loving nor looking for the young mother of two. Her son wished her happy birthday on Facebook last year, writing, you are missed wherever you are. At a young age, uh, she kind of got caught up in, I guess, the party lifestyle that they, they described it as, um, and then relocated from Benton Harbor area up here to Grand Rapids where they, they lost contact with her. But the family says Judson always called on birthdays and holidays. Detective Cook says she struggled with substance abuse, was trafficked for sex, and ultimately killed in her 20s. It was her age, the way her body was disposed, and her lifestyle that led detectives to declare her the 12th victim of a killer or killers who stalked vulnerable, sex-trafficked women in the 1990s. Medical examiners confirm that it is a female. A dozen bodies or remains dumped in and around Grand Rapids from 94 to 97. Stephanie Judson's family confirmed she'd moved to GR with Gregory Kelly, a violent trafficker, according to court records, who in 2020 died of COVID in prison while serving time for transporting prostitutes. Cook declined to identify any suspects in Judson's murder. And while he's grateful to give the family some answers, he's disappointed it came too late for Judson's mom, who died two months before detectives first tracked down Judson's sister. She wanted to give closure to her mom. She wanted her mom uh, to be here uh, in person to hear this news, um, but she did say, she goes, that just goes to show that uh, even my mom being in heaven, she never, never stopped working to find her daughter. Judson's sister and daughter did not want to talk on camera, but did want to make sure West Michigan knows Stephanie Judson had a, quote, heart of gold, they say, and her family loved and still loves her dearly. Detective Cook is investigating Judson's murder and those of two other women whose bodies were found in the 90s in the county. The other cases are with varying police agencies in the Metro Grand Rapids area. Anyone with information is asked to call the Sheriff's Department or Silent Observer. Back to you.